Hey guys, welcome back to another making home video. Today I'm going to try like a new type of style um, thrift video. So like a vlog style thrift video, which I've never really done before. So I'm going to try that out today. Uh, the weather is perfect, like literally perfect. It is completely sunny, hardly a cloud in the sky. It's a little chilly right now, like in the 50s, but I think we're supposed to get up to about 70 or so. Um, so really you can't ask for a nicer spring day. So anyways, I'm gonna head out to the thrift stores. I've got to get gas and I'm gonna pick up some coffee. Um, and then yeah, we're gonna see what we can find today. Okay, we're here at the first stop of the day, Goodwill. Um, I'm not gonna be taking my coffee in because it's kind of gross, you know? It's, anyways, so, um, you know, usually, at least for me, when I go thrifting, I have like a running list of things I'm always looking for when I thrift. Um, and then a lot of times when I go out on trips like this where I'm just kind of hitting a bunch of different thrift stores, um, I'm usually, Kind of have like a more narrowed down list in my brain of things that I'd really like to find or that I'm just kind of keeping an extra eye out for um, and so today I really want to find a quilt rack and I've seen them at other thrift stores and of course at that time when I saw them I didn't really want or need one um, but today I do so um, that's one thing I'm looking for I'm really looking for like glass canisters um, I have a lot of like big mason jars that I keep like my well, not my flour, but like my sugar and other baking supplies in, and I kind of just want to move away from that. Um, it's actually become kind of inconvenient sitting on the Hoosier cabinet that I have. So um, kind of looking for a different like way to store that and keep it in my kitchen. So I'm looking for like the Wexford kind of style glass canisters. I think those are so pretty. Um, I'm really looking for doilies. <laughs> I know that's kind of a random one. Um, I can find them a lot at like my antique stores or like my favorite antique store that I go to a lot, but I can never seem to find them at the thrift store. So that's another thing I'm looking for today. Um, quilts as usual, but those are so hard to find like at a decent price. Um, like linens, of course, throw blankets, throw pillows, things like that, artwork. Um, I'm really looking for... Uh, I don't really know what you'd call it. It's like fireplace tools. So it has like the shovel and the little brush and the poker. Um, my fireplace is not wood burning. I wish that it was, it's a gas fireplace, but I think they're so pretty. And I actually saw one at like a community thrift store over the summer. It was $10 in brass and it was absolutely beautiful, but they only took cash and I didn't have any cash on me. So I kind of had to pass that one up. Um, so I'm, that's, another thing I've really been on the hunt for. I actually saw one not that long ago at another thrift store, but it was like two feet tall. So it it didn't really look quite right. Although it was very pretty. It was cast iron with like brass accents on it. Very pretty, but not practical. So those are a few things I'm looking for today. And so let's go on in and see what we can find.
Okay, so I just left the second thrift store. I did not get any footage in there because it was really busy. Surprisingly, this is a really odd day and time to go to the thrift store. So, um, at least for me, it was a lot busier than I expected it to be. So I did not get any footage in there, but I did find some good stuff. So be sure to stick around to the end and I will show you what I got and how I styled it. If I have a place for it, sometimes I get stuff and don't know what to do with it. Only I only get it because I like it. So <laughs> anyways, um, I'm going to hit one more thrift store. It's a smaller, uh, local, locally owned thrift store. Um, but they usually have a pretty good selection of stuff. So I'm going to check that out real quick and then I'm going to head home and I'm really out of breath. <sighs> Those bags were heavy. So <laughs> anyway, last stop. Okay, so that was pretty successful for my third thrift store. That was actually going to be the last one I hit today, but while I was in there, um, the lady that owns the thrift store actually suggested to somebody else who was looking for something specific that he hadn't been able to find another thrift store that's just like less than a mile away from here. So I'm going to check that one out. I've never heard of it, and I've so I've obviously never been. Um, so I'm going to check that out, see what they've got, see if I can find anything, and then I'm going to head home and I'll show you all what I picked up today. So that little thrift store was actually, it was small, but they had some pretty good stuff. It is, um, I don't know if you call it a mission, but it's in, it's for the sexual assault advocacy center. So, you know, the money raised at the, thr at this thrift store goes towards that, which is really neat. It's brand new. It's, it hasn't been open long. Cause I know that this store used to be something else not that long ago. Um, so I did find a few things there, so I'm really excited, and there were a couple of things that I was actually, like, on the hunt for. So it's always nice when you can find things that you've been looking for, especially at places that are, like, you know, you wouldn't expect, unexpected places. So, 
Um, I think I'm done thrifting for the day. I really need to find something to eat. So I might grab something for me and my husband. He's at home working. And then, yeah. So now I'm gonna get into the haul portion of this video, finally. Um, so I will go by store and show you what all I picked up. Sorry, I got super cold on my finger. <laughs> Anyways, so I'll start with kind of like my main purchase from Goodwill. It's kind of the thing I'm actually most excited about that I got today. <clears throat> So I did pick this up. Um, it needs to be painted. I do not like this yellow. And I also do not love the cow um, knob. So uh, on my way home, I actually stopped at Hobby Lobby to pick up a replacement knob and I'll show you that as well. It's this little, there's this crystal. Crystal knob right here, it's not really focusing. Anyways, it's like got a brass, component to it. Um, it was $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. There were a couple that I was looking at. One was kind of like more of a, it was a crystal with like a brass backing to it, but it was $10 and this was four. So I picked up that um, and I've got some leftover paint from when I painted my uh, coffee table. It's like a dark sage green color. And I think it's gonna look really, really pretty on this. Um, and I will show you Kind of what I'm thinking when it comes to this, it's not gonna be painted yet. That is a project for another day. But I'm really excited. I wanted to put that we have a, we have an electric tea kettle and I wanted something that I could sit by like the coffee bar station area in my kitchen. Sorry, I keep looking at it. And um, like this, I wanted to put tea in there and just other decor. So I'm really excited about this find. I think it's gonna work really, really well in that. Oh, I paid $7.99 for that. So everything at Goodwill today, it was the yellow tags were half off. Don't know if I really found much yellow tag stuff. Of course, that's just how it works, isn't it? Um, and I also picked up this brass lamp and I paid what $2.99 for this. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it works. I hope it does. Um, so I need to test that, but I also need to find a lampshade. And I was looking at other stores when I went and I just couldn't really find anything that I thought would go well with it, but I thought it was so pretty. Look at the detail on it. I thought, I don't know. I just thought it was really, really nice. So I got that for just $2.99, which I thought was a pretty good deal. A lot of times I find lamps and they're more expensive than that. Okay, so I picked up this book. <clears throat> In the store, it looked more dark blue, but at home, it's kind of giving more of a black color to it. But I thought it was really pretty anyways. Um, and I love it when I find, I find so many books that have like notes from the previous owner of them. And, uh, this says, it's not about the mirror, but the one we are trying to mirror. That's cool. I was looking for a date, but I don't see one. So I will keep that in the book because I think it's really cool. And then, let's see the copyright date on this. I want to say it was like 67. Yep, 1967. Anyway, I just thought that was cute. So I'll find a place for that, I'm sure. Books are, I want to say like a dollar at the Goodwill. Um, so that's probably about how much I paid for that. And then next I picked up this gravy boat. It was really pretty and really a pretty color. Lots of really nice detail. And this was $1.99. Not entirely sure where I will put this, but I will find a spot for it. And then I also grabbed, this was $1.99. It's a spoon, oh, what do you call that? Like when you're cooking and you sit your spoons on it, I can't remember the actual, there's a term for it and it's, <laughs> I've lost it. But anyway, so I picked that up for $1.99 and then I also got this little spoon for 99 cents. It's like a little ceramic spoon. So I thought that was really pretty. And then I also grabbed, I do not know what this is, but it was $1.99, but I thought it looked really cool. I thought it would look cool sitting maybe even in this gravy boat that I just picked up. But if you know what this is, please let me know because I have no idea. I just thought it looked really neat. 
And then the last two things I got at Goodwill are actually not for me. I have picked them up for my mom. So she is a huge John Denver fan. Um, and she used to have a bunch of John Denver records that most of them I think were destroyed. And like, um, she had them in a crate in our garage or something like that. And water had gotten into our garage. So they were, a lot of them had been destroyed. So I picked this one up and this was a yellow tag. So it was half off. So it was $9.99. So I got it for half of that. And then I also grabbed this one for $7.99. So those are from my mama. So I will get those to her the next time I see her. Oh, and there's one other thing I picked up at Goodwill. And it's this right here. I love the frame. Look at the frame. It's so pretty in gold. Um, and this was... This is confusing. I don't know how much I paid for it because it says $3.99, but then it also says $1.99, but I think that was just stuck. I'm pretty sure I paid $3.99 for this. So I have an idea of where I want to use this, but now like that I'm home looking at the spot I wanted to put it, I'm not entirely sure if it will work there, but we'll see. And if not, I can find somewhere else to put it, I'm sure. Now we're moving on to the second thrift store. And every time I go to this thrift store, I always think I'm not going to find anything. And then I end up like walking out of the store with my arms like this because I don't grab a cart. <laughs> so um, it was a decent day at this thrift store. Okay, so first I'll show you these. Um, these are false graph. And I think I paid 99 cents for these. I got four of them and I was really excited to find these. As soon as I walked in, I spotted one and I was like, well, oh, this one's dirty. But anyway, I was like, well, I would get to that if there were more. Um, and then I walked around to the other side of the aisle and found, there's probably five more, but I only picked up four of these. I and mean, I was so excited because I thought it would go really well on here when it's painted um, to sit. I don't know if four will fit, but I'll figure something out. Anyways, I'm very excited about these. I love this style of false graph, like the little ridges on it. I have some, um, bowls and I have bowls in this style as well that I found not too long ago and then I also have plates but I grabbed some more of those <laughs> plates um, I grabbed four more of those I think that's all they had and they were 99 cents each um, so like I said I love this style of false graph it's one of my favorites I've False craft is so easy to find in my area, just different like lines of it, especially this one. And then there's another one, I can't remember what it's called, but I have it over at my coffee bar, like the cookie jar size holds my um, K cups. And then I have a small like canister size that I put sugar in to use at the coffee area. So I picked up four of these plates and four of the mugs. So for some reason I'm having a difficult time remembering where I found this glass pitcher that I got for $1.99. I want to say it's at this thrift store, but the tag does not look the same and it doesn't really match any of the other ones either. So I'm not entirely sure where this came from, but it was only $1.99. Um, and I just thought it was really pretty. I have a hard time finding pitchers at all um, that look decent. Um, so I thought this one was really pretty, like the way that the little spout. <laughs> Take your time. Anyways, I used to have um, some like fake lemons that I thought would look really pretty in here. I'll have to see if I can dig those out. I think they're done. Okay, so um, the last few things I picked up at this thrift store were like more of like the linens. So I grabbed this pillow and I'm pretty sure that this is a homemade pillow. It looks like this was probably maybe a runner of some kind. It does have some stains on it, but I'm not gonna be using this like on my couch or anywhere that somebody would like actually lay their head on it. It'll probably go in a basket, but I thought it would be really great for Christmas and for um, 4th of July coming up. Uh, I've been looking for a lot of Americana type decor um, or like just colors like red and blue. So I think that would work really well for that. And this was $2.99 for that. And then 
I really, when I was checking out, kind of wish I would have just put this to the side. It is more stained than I would like, but I think I can find a place for it. It's a scarf. Um, so I'll get it cleaned up and see what I can do with it. But I've been trying to find more things to like hang out of baskets or um, to kind of drape over chairs or the couch or something to just to kind of like add more texture to areas of my home. So I grabbed that scarf. I also grabbed this scarf and I thought this was really pretty. And it's like, you can do either side. So this might be good for winter and I think I could even use it for spring and it's got these little tassels on it. And this was, man, I had a hard time finding. I don't know how much this was. There's not a tag on it, but I think it was like $1.99. Same as the other scarf, it was $1.99 as well. And then I picked up this, um, I don't know if this is like a crocheted or no, I don't know. Maybe knitted, some kind of blanket. I, it looks handmade. I, I don't see like a tag that you would find on like a store-bought item, but it was $3.99. And it's like this light blue and white. Um, throw blanket. And it was pretty clean, not a bunch of stains or anything. So I thought this actually might look kind of cute on my bed. So once I get these cleaned up, we'll see how it looks. Okay, thrift store number three. This is one of the smaller independent, like locally owned by a person, not any kind of ministry or anything like that, actually owned by a person. Um, I didn't find a whole lot of stuff there that I wanted to get. There were things that I was interested in, but I just didn't grab everything. Um, but I really like that little store. The, the lady that owns it is so, so sweet and she keeps it very organized. Um, and I just really like it very well priced, um, and a pretty good selection of a lot of different things. Okay. First I'll show you this platter. It needs to be cleaned up, but I really liked the detail on the end and the crazing on it was so pretty. It's a Homer Laughlin platter. So I have an idea of where I want to put this and I'm just hoping it's not too big <laughs> enough that I'm looking at it. Um, but if it is, I can definitely find a place to put this. I thought it was really, really pretty. I picked up this little, oh, you couldn't see that um, platter was $2. Um, and so I picked this glass canister up. It needs to be cleaned out, but the seal on it was really good. And I really liked the detail on the lid, kind of like a flower type detail. And this was a dollar. Um, so this, I know where I'm going to put, I'm going to put it by my sink and put my, um, after I get it cleaned out, put my barkeeper's friend powder in this because I have it in just the like little container that it comes in, but it's got holes in it at the top and it tends to like clump up because of probably moisture. So I thought that this would work better and I could put it on my windowsill and it would seal up. And then when I need it, I can just scoop some out. So that's what I picked that up for. I grabbed this little pillow. Um, I have to look at my receipt because there's not a tag on it, but I wanna say it was like a dollar or dollar 99. I was trying to find a small pillow for a very specific purpose, which hopefully you will see <laughs> later on in this video. But I thought it was really pretty. A nice like country kind of color with blue and red, little accents on it. So I really liked that. Now the last time I was there, I saw this and after I left, I wished that I would have picked it up and it was still there when I went today. So I grabbed it. It's like this little wicker turkey and it was so cute. It was $2 and I thought it would be perfect for fall or even any time really, you know, put little doodads in it or something, but I just thought it was just the cutest thing. Look at his little face. He's cute. His little tail. I don't know. I just loved it. So I was glad it was still there. And I even told the lady, I was like, I want it this last time and I left it. So I'm very thankful it's here. And she said, well, you know, since it's a turkey, that's probably why. And people are really not looking for turkey stuff right now. <laughs> and I said, well, I shop for all occasions all year long as much as I can. Um, so I picked up my little turkey. I think he's just the cutest thing. Okay, so as you guys know, I said that I was shopping for doilies today and really every time 
and I think I found some. It's taped up. It says three rectangles and it was a dollar. Um, so we are going to open this up together and we're going to see what I ended up actually paying for. So we're going to see what these are. Okay. Oh, those are cute. I can definitely find some places to put these. These look like you would put them on the table, like kind of like a placemat maybe. There's a tag. It doesn't say what it is. But anyways, there's three of those in that pack for just a dollar. So that was exciting because I had just said that I almost never find any and I found some. So that was it for the third thrift store. And um, as I said, while I was there, she actually brought up another thrift store that was new and um, it was really small, but they did have some good stuff. Um, and so I picked up a few things and I'm actually really excited about what I found. So this is gonna be the last part of the haul and then we'll get into the styling part. So I got this little, um, I guess it's called, would be called a decanter. There were two of them, but I only really needed one, but I considered picking both of them up. Um, all of the wares that I got or at that store were only 50 cents. So I only paid 50 cents for this. And I'm gonna, once I get it cleaned out, I'm gonna actually put my olive oil in this and sit it by the stove because I use it so much. But this is much prettier than like an olive oil bottle. So I thought this would be perfect for that. And I'm really, really excited about this because I actually um, was kind of on my list of things that I was trying to find and there it was. Okay guys, I found another doily. <laughs> I don't really know if this would be considered a doily or even the last things that I pulled out, but this looks handmade. It does, it's got a little imperfect parts to it, but it's in fairly good shape. There is a hole right here, but that's okay. I'm very excited about this. Okay, the last thing, this is another thing that I'm always on the hunt for and I don't find very often. And it's one of these little peg rails. And I wish that it was bigger. I'm looking for some that are not just two little pegs, but I'm excited about it. And I think I can find some, a good spot for this to hang some things on. But like I said, I'm always looking for peg rails and they hardly ever show up in my thrift stores. Um, but anyways, that's gonna be the end of the haul. Thank you for shopping with me at my local thrift stores today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Ah.